Hey guys, this is Hunter at Vapor Honing Technologies. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we clean our machines. Uh, we get a lot of questions about this from customers, so we're going to mimic the process for you here. The first thing you're going to want to do is take the air and shut it off from the machine. When you do this, you need to also depressurize the machine. So that means leaving the power on, step on the foot pedal until you don't hear any more air pushing out that slurry mix. After you do that, you're gonna leave the machine's power on so the pump stays on while you're doing this. We use a 55 gallon drum on wheels. Uh, so what this does is this allows us to empty the slurry from the inside of the hopper into this barrel. Of course, we're gonna put this fresh water hose into the machine so that we don't run the pump dry. You never wanna do that, it's bad for the pump, it'll ruin it. Um, so we're gonna get started here. So as you can see, the slurry is coming out. Now we're gonna add this hose to the machine. and we're just gonna keep pumping this out until the water turns clear. Um, that's how you know that this machine is cleaned out in the hopper. So there is a couple ways that you can tell that this line is clear. One is this clear hose is not pushing media through. Um, that's how you know that this line is clear or you can just look down here where it's shooting out and if the water's clear, uh, then your lines are clear. So after you're done with this, you should have enough water in the machine to replace. All you will have to do is dump your abrasive in, restart. Um, of course, if you do have the closed loop system, you probably wanna clean your basins out too just so that the whole machine can be refreshed instead of just the inside. You can just clear everything out, get it done. Um, this process, I would say, takes about 10, 15 minutes depending on the size of the machine that you're dealing with. Of course, if you're dealing with like a VH4000, it's gonna take a little bit longer. Um, usually you can have um, like safety clean um, or someone like that haul this material off. It just depends on the local regulations in your area and the companies around you to take this stuff off. Uh, but for more questions, just give us a call. We'll be happy to explain and assist. Our number is 828-202-5563.